Today, we would explain an advanced use of the clickable zone block. In the advanced configuration, it is possible to use unclickable zones, for example, to illustrate a subject with several images. To learn the initial functionalities of the clickable zone block, we have created a very specific tutorial. Let's see how it works. In this tutorial, we will illustrate a character's words with the help of several zones. We have positioned several big blocks containing the character's explanation regarding a subject. Two of the sentences will be illustrated with images. Three clickable zones blocks will make them appear successively on the screen in order to illustrate each speak block, then to make them disappear. We double click on our first clickable zones block to configure it. We press the plus icon on the left to create our first zone. The first zone will contain an image of a forest and we will position it to the left of our character. To make this zone unclickable, we click on the pictogram representing a mouse click, located on the right of the name of our zone. Our first clickable zone block is configured. We can now go back to our graph. A clickable zones block containing only an clickable zone has exactly one output, which is used automatically when the block is executed. We can now configure our second clickable zone block. In the same way, we created a second zone, which we positioned this time to the right of the skin. We also use the unclickable option for this zone. The configuration of this block is finished. We can go back to our graph. We now have to configure our last clickable zone block. In this last clickable zone block, we want to remove the two previously displayed zones. To do this, we must first indicate that we want to modify these two zones in this clickable zones block. We click on the plus button on the left and add zone 1, then zone 2. In order to remove the zones, we must change the configuration of our zones indicating that they are no longer visible. To do this, we click on the eye pictogram visible on the right of the names of both zones. The zones disappear in the preview. Note that it is also possible to use both clickable and unclickable zones simultaneously. Let's validate these configurations and have a look at the results.